This training module will guide you through assembling the SP-85, and most importantly, how to properly keep the moving parts lubricated. The walk-behind spreaders are shipped with the tires partially inflated. Using a manual pump, fully inflate the tires to the PSI setting shown on the tire sidewall. Slide the gate actuator rod down through the keyhole slot in the frame stand at the rear of the spreader. Attach the gate actuator rod to the push spreader handle assembly. With the gate handle in the down position, slide the push spreader handle assembly onto the frame stand. Secure the handle assembly with the cap screws and lock nuts from the hardware kit. Attach the gate actuator rod to the gate cam, and then secure it with the washer and cotter pin. Install the material deflectors using the supplied cap screws, flat washers, and lock nuts. Then verify that the material deflectors sit on top of the deflector support brackets. Place the weather cover on the hopper. After assembly is complete, tighten all hardware. To keep your spreader running smoothly, Lubrication is an important part of preventative maintenance. Remove the gear cover by using a flathead screwdriver and pry the three lock rings off of the gear cover. Once the gear cover is removed, apply a chain lube spray lubricant to all of the gears inside. Don't forget to grease the two Zerk fittings as well. Reassemble the gear cover and then secure it with the locking rings by pressing them into place. And that completes this quick walkthrough for the SP-85. We hope that this module has answered any questions that you may have had, especially when it comes to preventative maintenance. Thank you for watching.